I love these rainy, dreary mornings. Look at the Japanese maple. It's beautiful. Let's see if this apple wants to come off. That was not too bad. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So I've got a very exciting one today. I finally got red fleshed apples. I'll get to try these for the first time ever. Now the trees, my trees are in their second year and they're already producing apples. That is very fast. Honestly, that's much faster than I was expecting them to start producing, but I just kind of let them do it because the first year they just grew, grew very strongly and they're still growing very strongly, but they also decided to flower. This particular variety produced a bunch of flowers, way more than all the other ones, but it also dropped a lot of the apples and it dropped a lot of, a lot of flowers as well. So there's a couple factors why I think these apples are a little bit on the smaller side because I do actually have another variety that has apples on it as well which I'll also be making a video about but those apples are a much larger size, much more normal size uh, so the reason why I think these apples are a little bit on the smaller side could be that it's their first year producing apples uh, it could also be the fact that it's in one of the sunniest spots that I have after maybe like 11 o'clock uh, the sun hits it all day and uh, of course the major contributor to that also um, helps <laughs> helps to that is that it dries out very quickly so i have to water that one especially more and maybe it's it's had times where it's just been too dry so i have to you know there's something i can approve for next year other than also just bulking up on the mulch which i do anyway but i'll just make sure i extra bulk it up and uh, so this is some of the factors that i think contributed to the, the apples being a little bit on the smaller side uh, that might also be the factor that maybe have it not have it have any red flesh yet you know since they are in their first year producing apples that could be one of the reasons i haven't looked yet so i don't know but i'm kind of expecting it because this like i said the first year i'm not expecting miracles these things tend to happen uh, over the course of years and then even then they don't always happen uh, i'm not too familiar growing these apple trees yet so i'll just know more as i as the years go by and i grow them so i don't know what to expect but we're just going to try it out together and we'll see <laughs> so i do have to also say that uh, the smallest apple this little guy fell off about a month ago and uh, it was also the one that had pretty major sun scald on it and it just kind of stayed on the tree and um, about a month ago it fell off and it's just been in, sitting in the fridge until then ants also got into it and started eating out the core and there was no red flesh there so i'm not even going to try this on the camera i just don't think it's really an accurate representation of what these apples are going to be able to do this one fell off a week later on its own and uh, it should give me Hopefully, maybe a little bit of red flesh, like we'll see. Like I have, like I said, I have no idea what I'm expecting here. <laughs> I'm right to get red flesh. I mean, that's what the variety is, but I don't really know if that happens in the first year. Sometimes it doesn't. We'll just have to wait and see. And this is the one that we just picked just now. It has the biggest size to it. It is uh, very good in color. I'm, I'm hoping, really expecting a lot on this one. I'm cautiously hopeful. So, let that out of the way. At first I'm gonna cut all these, or I'm gonna cut the first one in half, and we're gonna just check and see what's on the inside. So let's do that. This is, whoo, I'm excited. You just never know. Woo. Oh, well, look at that. Got some seeds too, that's good. Look at that, guys. I got a little bit of red flesh on the inside there. So that's good. A little bit of uh, pink blushing there. So that's promising. That means it's only going to get better from here. As the tree gets larger and better and all that, it's going to get even better. So we've got some pink blushing there. I don't think the camera shows it up. It shows it off quite as much. It's maybe a little bit brighter in person. But that's 
very promising, guys. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so let's open up the last, cut open the last one as well, and just kind of get a glimpse on the inside of that one. Uh, I don't want to cut it. Let's go like that. Whoa! Yes! Look at that! Look at that! Okay, let's show you the first one. So the pink flesh there is even more pronounced. That is just super exciting. I mean, how awesome is that, guys? How awesome is that? Let me show you the other one. That is pretty profound red flesh there. Like that's that's really pretty good already. I think this is only gonna get better as the years go by. So I won't stall too much because I do really want to get into this. So let's I'm just gonna have a bite off the first apple first and then we'll jump in to the next one, okay? So here we go. Hmm. Okay, tastes like a good apple. It's maybe starting to be a little mealy and that might be because it's been in the, in the fridge for a while, quite a while. But it tastes really good. I'm not getting any berry flavor, which is what um, red fleshed apples are known for. But again, that's okay. That's something that can develop over the course of time. I'm gonna take one more bite off it. It's a really good apple though. I feel like it's pretty acidic. my opinion but I'm not I'm not like super familiar with all these different apples and things I'm just you know trying to describe them as I get them yeah it's good eating it's good not really getting any of that berry flavor but that's okay that's okay okay next I want to try this one as well if I can get any of that berry flavor that they're notorious for, I'll be very excited. But like I said, it's okay if I don't. So, let's take a bite out of this now. Look at that, beautiful. All right, here we go. Mm. Now that, that is an awesome tasting apple, guys. Wow. There's there's a lot more flavor than the first one. Like the right out of the gate. A lot more flavor. I'm gonna take them. I bite off just the, the red part and just kinda ah. I don't I don't know. I, I really want to try to get that red flesh, like that berry flavor. Mmm. Yeah, I may be getting like a little bit in the background, like a subtle berry flavor. It's like a, it's kind of like that acidic berry flavor. You know, the, like the acidity that you maybe get from some berries. That's kind of what I'm getting. But it also tastes like a really good apple. Wow. That does not taste like your everyday apple, I can tell you that much. Oh my God, this gets me so excited to just see how just develops like this is already really good like really really good like mm. I just can't stop showing this off like that's amazing I love that okay so we tried it. There is absolutely some more nuances to this apple uh, that a regular apple maybe doesn't have. Uh, most, of, most notably for me, it seems to be the acidity. Uh, maybe like that slight, like I said, very acidic flavor that you maybe get in the background. Other than that, it tastes like just a really, really good apple to me. So I'm gonna leave it at that. 
Remember, there is another video coming up about the other variety that I have. It's much larger. It's very, very dark in color. I'm, I'm really expecting a lot from that one. If, if I can get this from this smaller apple and this is it's smaller, it's, it's not, it wasn't quite as pigmented. It was very pigmented, but not quite as pigmented as the other one. I'm just really, really even more hopeful now for the other one. So I can't wait. But thank you guys for coming along. I really appreciate you um, watching my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.